I care what people think about me. I care about their perceptions. But what I thought of recently and what I think I was going to talk about for yesterday's Dark Road um, and what I almost ended up mentioning, I think, in the fifth entry for yesterday and maybe was going to mention that I was going to, like, was maybe going to mention um, that I was going to talk about it in the Dark Road video or that I thought about it. Um, for the Dark Road video or something. Maybe... Like, if people have inaccurate perceptions of me, like, I want to fix that. I don't like people thinking stuff that's wrong about me. Especially if it's, like, bad wrong. Because there's people that are, like, that um, may think something that's off about me in a good way. That, I guess, I let slide. At least sometimes, if not all the time, or most of the time, or something. At least that's easier to bear. But when people think like bad and it's and it's off in my perception, I don't like that bugs me. But what if like like I was talking about how like things I know, things I think I know, things I don't know. What if people are supposed to perceive me a certain way? What if God wants people to perceive me a certain way? What if God wants people to perceive you a certain way? Because if there's things that I'm not supposed to know, or that I do know, or that I think that I know, and God can be behind some of that, then perhaps... Like, maybe God can be behind, like, what people think they know about me. So I don't know where the line is on trying to fix people's perceptions. Because, like, even with recent work stuff, in my perception... The person in charge of me, his perception of me was wrong on something. And I talked to him like three or four times that day. And maybe he, does he have the correct perception on that single, on that particular thing? Maybe, maybe not. How, how much do you push to try to fix someone's perception? What if my perception is off on his perception being off? It helps if you know how things work in this world, because then instead of trying to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed or can't be fixed, you can just move on with your life or just flow. But if you don't know, then you're just continuously trying to fix something that and just that you don't need to fix and just being, maybe being stressed, maybe being like whatever. But if you, if you understand certain things, you can just, you can flow easier. So maybe some of the people, some of the things that people think of me, I guess for good or bad, Maybe that's what they're supposed to think about me in that particular situation. Because if he, because him thinking that, I mean, along with other things that, and some of, some of his overall, all the perceptions that he had on me, some of it has some accuracy. But the particular thing that I tried to address his perception on, in my perception was off. But me ended up, me ending up being um, 
them not wanting me to come back to that job, for that day labor job, for a street cleanup. Maybe that was supposed to happen so that I can be with at, at the job that I'm that I was at yesterday and that I'll be at today, I think, um, or even the people that I'm working with right now, perhaps. So, like in our mistakes, in our in all these places that we think are errors, are maybe where God lives. Like. Not just, maybe, maybe not just that, like our passions, you know, maybe are something or maybe where, what God wants us to do or, I don't know, passions can come into the equation in some form. That's, passions can be something, but like our mistakes, our shortcomings, like maybe that's where that gap between that and perfection or whatever, maybe that's where God acts. Maybe not just where God acts, but in a sense, maybe that's where God acts. So, Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Because you don't know what's what. Or maybe you think you do. But you do know some things. And you don't know others. And some things you think you know. But do we know all that God's working in? All that God's doing? We can't see God. We can't see all the forces or all the dimensions of stuff. Even with misperceptions of myself or what I perceive as people having misperceptions of me. Maybe there have been instances where that is as it should be. Maybe they're supposed to think that in some cases, or all cases. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Also, I'd wanted to provide in this series, like, a video where I just gave dark roads to me, like, ways to understanding me, but you already have that in this YouTube channel, Heartfeltization. Not a short, concrete thing, but not a one video thing, per se, although I kind of did something like that in one of the true Heartfeltization videos, but... 
in this channel, you have dark roads to me. To understand me, me. <laughs> no. <laughs> to my understanding. So, not that I perfectly understand myself, but there's some data for you in this channel, in this around 2,000 videos and counting. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's probably close to 2,000 at this point. Towards understanding me. Dark roads to myself. To my heart, perhaps. <laughs> Dark roads to my heart. I think.